Hello, welcome to another Stat 510 video. Um, one last video on expectation, but in this case, talking about conditional expectations. Okay, so first, the definition of conditional expectation. Uh, and we're defining it here as a conditional expectation of X given some value of Y. You could, you could flip these things, but that's just uh, symbols being put in particular places. Okay, so um, here we see sort of as always, sort of two similar-ish looking definitions depending on whether or not X is continuous or discrete. But basically it's the definition of expectation that we've um, come to know, except instead of um, say uh, the distribution of X, it is using the conditional distribution of X given Y in this case. So um, nothing uh, too interesting there. So um, a theorem, so this can this has a few different names, uh, rule of iterated expectation, uh, Adam's law. Um, so essentially, if we take the expected value of the expected value of y given x, we end up with the expected value of y. Um, we do that the opposite direction. We get the expected value x okay that might be a little bit confusing and the intuition might not be there but we're going to get to an example that'll hopefully help with that oh that's what we're going to do right now okay so an example so in this example uh x is a uniform random variable uh on the interval zero to one now we're going to define y conditioned on x so the distribution of y will be between x and one so basically the way to think of this is Okay, so first generate a, a random observation from X, maybe something like here. And then that means that Y is then, then uniform between there and one. So basically depending on what we get from X, uh, there's a different distribution for Y. And ultimately what we want is the expected value of Y. Okay, so um, I have these two different conditional expectations written down here and I'm going to, and so um, it shouldn't be too hard to see that once we know what X is, uh, the expected value of Y given that X, it's just the midpoint between X and one. Uh, so here we have X plus one over two. Here we have X plus one over two. And to be really clear, this is a small X this is a large X. So these are two very similar looking things, but they mean different things. So this is a function of X and it will output a number. Right? So uh, if you, so this would be like, okay, so we observe X and it's, um, I don't know, uh, oh wait, so I, was to, I was about to say it's three, but it can't be three. Uh, we observe X and it's 0 0.2. Um, so in that case, we can plug in here and now we know the mean of Y when X is 0 0.2. But this is a random variable. But note that the only thing that's random here is X. So that's interesting. Okay, so now to find the expected value of Y, well, uh, recall that we can go this direction now. So this is the expected value of the expected value of Y given X. And I'm using the random variable version here, which is part of the theorem. So now I can sub what we calculated here. So this is now the expected value of X plus one over two. And it's important that X is random. Otherwise, when we took this expectation, nothing would happen. Uh, and then so just using 
uh, various expectation rules that we've learned previously. We get something like this, works, are, works out to be, I think the expected value of X is 0 0.5, that shouldn't be too hard to see. Plus one over two is 0 0.75. Okay, so um, yeah, hopefully that helps uh, a little bit with the intuition behind what's happening here. Okay, um, so in the same way that we can define conditional expectation, we can also uh, define conditional variance. And it looks something like this. And again, it looks really similar to um, the variance formula, except now we have this mean is conditional and this is the distribution of y given x. Oh, this is the conditional variance of y given x. I think I flipped that for some reason, but not a big deal. Okay, so uh, in sort of related to Adam's law, we also have Eve's law, which talks about um, total uh, variance. Um, this could also be called uh, variance decomposition, law of total variance, uh, goes by a number of different names. But so basically what we're trying to do here is we want to decompose the marginal um, variance of y. Now I want to note that inside of this first expectation, this quantity here, so this is the conditional variance of y given x. And inside here, so this expectation here, this is the conditional expectation. of y given x. Okay, so essentially what this does is it relates the marginal variance to the conditional variance, but it might not be clear why we, and, and so basically, um, so the, the marginal variance is the expected, so it's the average conditional variance, but then it's also plus the variance of the uh, conditional average. Now, why you need that second term might not be immediately clear. So this is my horrible attempt to draw a picture that illustrates this. So in this example, um, we have two random variables, X and Y. X is a simple binary random variable. It can be zero or one with equal probability. And then conditional on, uh, so Y condition on X is a, uh, you know, I, I attempted to draw like a normal type of thing here. And the dot is where the uh, mean is. Um, my artistic ability, don't worry about. But so, um, y conditioned on x in both pictures, um, so y, y conditioned on x equals zero, both those have the same conditional variance, just where the mean is is different. And then same thing when x is one, same conditional variance, but where the mean is is different. So um, if you took the average of these conditional variances, it would be the same in both uh, graphics, except in the right hand one, uh, there is more total variance. Uh, that is in Y. Um, because of the fact that now, instead of being um, uh, both having the same conditional mean, they have different conditional means. So the overall spread of Y is bigger. Um, maybe not the best picture, but ho hopefully that makes uh, the idea uh, somewhat clear clear. Okay, um, just a quick video on conditional expectations, uh, putting the big ideas out there. Um, so as always, if you made it to the end of the video, good job, and I'll see you in the next one.